Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Surgeon here, and I'm here with a video review of not the greatest, latest and greatest smartphone or gadget, but on actually a pretty good pair of headphones. I just figured that you guys, since you are all like techies and stuff, you'd want something related to that. Um, a good pair of headphones. I don't know how we related headphones to tech, but I don't know. I'm doing a review on them. Or maybe for the music fans out there like me, you want a decent pair of headphones. These are the ones that you'd probably want to get. One, I'm just going to go through the list of the, the pros and cons and everything. Um, one, the, the pros, the reasons why you'd want to get this headphone is that it's pretty affordable. I know on the website, see right here, it's running at about 40 bucks. But, um... I got mine for about twenty dollars, eighteen fifty, I think, on eBay. So you might find a good deal like I did, and then it's definitely worth it. I don't think it's worth forty bucks, but because it's on the lower end of the headphones, it's going to be a pretty affordable pair. You'll notice on the bottom, I have the blue version right here, but you can get them in different colors too. So let's zoom in, and it's available in like red. Top, pink, this like red and blue, silver gunmetal, and then neon green and gray, your aqua and orange, and then you have your white and black, predominantly white. Anyways, I have the blue version that I'm going to be reviewing right now. So, if you take a look, you can expand the right side, or the left side I mean, like so. And it's indicated as to how far you're going right here. There are no like level marks or anything, so you just have to guess, oh if I want it on this side, I have to extend it on this side. And overall, like, it's not that big of a deal. You just put them on, and you adjust them as how your head feels on them, and there's not much else to that. I do have to note that they're not very, like, it's, it's pretty loose when you're switching between levels. So, I don't know if that's pro or con for you, but I wanted to make note of that. What's holding this together is this metal strip. It's kind of, um, it's really thin. It's pretty sturdy, though. Um, I'm just always, like, afraid I'm gonna cut myself. But I'm not gonna cut myself with this thing. Just because it's, it's not that sharp. You're okay. Overall, the construction of this feels very sturdy. It is plastic, but as maybe it's a paint finish or something. But it feels really sturdy, and paint finish is very nice. It's held together by screws on the inside over here. And overall, it's been in my backpack and stuff, and it hasn't broken for me yet. Up top, we have the metal strip again. It goes along the sides and along the top. And we have their ear pollution logo, or their brand name, which is the line of headphones that iFrogs has. He named it ear pollution. And then up top, again, it's like a metal, or not metal, rubber, like covering something for your head when you wear it for long periods of time and if you're someone that has glasses then you're gonna feel some discomfort like if you have sunglasses and you're gonna be wearing these headphones while you're like I don't know riding a motorcycle or something and being cool I don't know but anyways if you're gonna like wear this thing with glasses it's gonna get uncomfortable after a couple hours um, but if you wear contacts or don't wear glasses then you're gonna be just fine like, I don't really care if there's any padding over here because you don't feel it. The padding and everything is really all about what goes along in these two, like, speakers over here. I have to say, after wearing them for a long period of time, like, hours, hours, I haven't felt any discomfort with these things at all. Because of the cushion, it's so nice. It's like, this, um, I don't know what plush is, but... If I were to know what plush was, or plush, whatever you call it, this would be it. This is like, um, 
I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like... <laughs> it's not leather. But it's just... It's like really thin leather, leather or really thin vinyl. Something of that sort. I'm almost afraid that if I like have a pair of scissors like this and I somehow have it near the the speakers like tear it open or something but so far they haven't bro broken or teared or anything and over here we have more of a vinyl look on the inside and up here in this blue part is cloth so that's where your sound comes out of overall very comfortable but because of this like cloth covering that separates the speaker from your ears the sound comes out is pretty muffled um, not exactly the best it is bass heavy if you're into that kind of stuff but for me I listen to classical music and it's just like oh, come on like why am I hearing like cellos all the time when I hear like more of the treble so it's not for someone that's looking for studio quality headphones and you want to have like the purest of sounds. This has like some kind of equalizer setting on it, so to say, um, or so to speak. It's just, yeah, it's not, eh, I don't know. Sound quality, not the best, but for the price, it's pretty good. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise if it wasn't like 20 bucks. Um, I wouldn't buy it if it was 40 bucks, so yeah. I mean, I got a good deal on it, it's great. One thing I want to note is that if you've been annoyed throughout this review, it squeaks. Um, but you're not exactly going to be playing with this while you're listening to music, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, not that big of a deal. So you guys are like, I want to see the audio quality, or I want to hear the audio quality. So I'm just going to plug it into my Droid 3. And it fits quite nicely to 3.5mm headphone jacks I've tried so far. Um, wait, before I do this, I just want to note that it's not gold, but silver. Um, silver plated, I believe. So, yeah. If you're particular about that, I didn't really notice that much of a difference. Honestly. So. If we go to, let's say... We have 1983. From neon trees. You can hear the volume all the way from here. I'm gonna turn up the volume on this phone all the way up. So you notice that it leaks sound pretty well because I can play it as speakers like right now when I'm not like listening to it in my ears. So if you're in a public place where it's like loud as it is in your environment, people aren't really gonna be like that, oh my gosh, like I can hear your like music from all the way over there. But if you're on like a subway or a train where like people aren't talking all the time, they're just like sitting waiting to get to their destination, you're gonna be like one of those annoying people with the, like the iPhone earbuds or the iPod earbuds and people are gonna be able to hear your music. So you might wanna turn it down a bit and not have it on full volume. I don't know why you'd want to listen to on full volume anyways. You want to like kill your ears when you're young. But some people do. And you might want to be warned that people around you get annoyed. So I'm going to stop the song. Um, if I'm going to like show you like a classical piece for example. Where you'd want to have like uh, a non-tampered sound. In terms of like not having heavy bass. Let's go ahead and put on, I don't know, Breakthrough? by Frank Locke. If you can tell from the audio quality over here, it's not that bad. Quite nice. In terms of like noise cancelling abilities, these aren't noise cancelling headphones, but they do a pretty good job of blocking out say 30 to 40 percent of the sound that you hear outside. So I use this particularly when I'm like practicing flutes in the fourth octave and I'm like oh playing like high D's and like high C sharps 
above, above, above the staff, like above the staff and then one more octave when I'm like doing skills and stuff. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna grow deaf when I'm young. Um, I use these so I can block out most of the sound without compromising, like without not hearing what, I'm, what comes out of my flute, like at all. So it's pretty useful if you're a musician and or or like you're in a very like noisy environment and you just want to block out some sound. These are pretty good. They're not the best because they're not noise cancelling, but they do get the job done. So lastly, in terms of portability, these things fold up, which is great. So first thing that you do is go like this. Oh, first thing you do is fold it up like this, and like this. And then you can fold it up like this. And then you just wrap the cord around like this. And there you go. If you compare it to the size of the Droid 3, you'll notice that it is definitely shorter than your phone. Or about the same size. No, a bit shorter. And then, yeah. can fit almost anywhere. Not in your pocket, unless you have unusually gigantic pockets, that, which should look really awkward in your pocket. But if you were to put it in a backpack or, like, large purse or something, like purse right here it's actually a pretty compact purse you can just like you know stuff it in there at any rate yeah, and then the cord gets messed up but anyways bottom line these are really good mid-range slash um less expensive pair of headphones i would definitely recommend it to the casual listener I would not recommend it to people looking for studio quality headphones however because it's just it's not what the target audience is and iFrogs knew that but it has reasonable noise cancellation and although it leaks sound the sound quality isn't too bad for the price and it's pretty portable so if you're looking for a good pair of headphones these are called iFrog CS40s I don't mind the squeaking but they're pretty good headphones if you're looking for one. Alright, so that's it. I'm done. And just check me out later for the next video review or tutorial. And if you like what you see, rate, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's the usual. Alright, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.